Hi, I'm Tyler Green and I am here today at Green Pride to celebrate cannabis and to basically show that I'm a proud cannabis consumer here in the UK. I run a channel called I Smoke. It's a cannabis-based YouTube channel and what I'm trying to do is raise cannabis awareness and basically help legitimise the cannabis industry in the UK. So I help give a voice to cannabis consumers and we put out um, strain reviews, I put out sort of sessions and also uh, do things like writing articles uh, for I Smoke magazine where we talk about the medical benefits of cannabis and of course some of the recreational uh, perks of using the cannabis plant as well. The web address is ismokemag.co.uk um, Also you can find us at ismoke.media which will take you straight to the YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel has been a big focus of mine for the past year or so when I have been putting all of my energy into making these cannabis videos and um, just trying to um, get the word out really that we have a legitimate cannabis scene here in the UK. There are lots and lots of cannabis social clubs. I have the pleasure of meeting people every week that are doing a lot for the industry and we're just trying to share that with as many people as we can really. I passionately believe in the medical benefits of cannabis and that is a big part of I Smoke. However, I am a recreational consumer myself, so what that means is I'm not getting the medical benefits of the plant. I'm fully aware that there are people out there that get a much better benefit from using cannabis because it actually helps them. So I want to raise awareness about cannabis and all aspects around the cannabis plant because of that, because of the help um, that it would give medical people, but also because it's not, so, it's not a bad thing recreationally. It's certainly not as bad as the legal alternatives, which are alcohol and tobacco. Unfortunately, there is a stigma still attached to recreational smoking, which I think is crazy in 2017. And particularly in our country, in the UK, we seem to be behind a lot of other countries like the US and other countries that are getting like medical programs and even recreational legalisation in some areas. Unfortunately, it's a hangover of prohibition, which is going to continue to exist until we can get people to see sense and change these unjust laws surrounding cannabis. No, I actually find that it impacts me really positively, which is why I do it. I, in particular, find um, great inspiration when I consume. So, for example, um, if I am having a bit of writer's block or struggling with inspiration for a video, usually I find that my, my thoughts are much more free-flowing once I've consumed a joint or a bong. Um, and it really, really helps. Uh, and I think that there's a lot of other, a lot of musicians probably feel the same way. A lot of creative people probably feel that it helps them in similar ways. So the difference between indica and sativa. So indica plants are um, going to produce more of your body stone sort of feeling, um, whereas sativa is more of the cerebral head height. So I find indica is particularly beneficial in the evening, and I hear that they're also particularly beneficial for pain relief as well. So people that are suffering from chronic pain, indicas are on that spectrum. People that are suffering from, um, and I'm sorry, another interesting fact: people that are suffering from anxiety uh, would probably be better on the hybrid or indica spectrum as well because some sativa strains can induce that. So basically uh, I, I think that it's better on the indica side as well but again I'm not a doctor this is just from my experience talking to people that are using cannabis medicinally that are currently all criminalized as well let's be honest they're currently all criminals for using their, their herbal cannabis but they are finding that it helps them in certain ways and they are passing that information on to me. Um, there are some great organizations in the UK people like the United Patients Alliance that are actually out there meeting patients, getting them exposure, and actually doing really, really good work. People like the, um, the Cannabis Social Clubs, the UK CSC, also doing great work in helping organise people, organising structures, and um, yeah, I think it's only getting bigger and better here in the UK. So. I set up ISMO because I'm passionate about the UK cannabis community and what I'm trying to achieve is um, an ideal world, what I'm trying to help achieve is an ideal world where we are not prosecuted or persecuted for consuming cannabis, whether it's medically or recreationally. I think that everybody, all adults, all responsible adults should be able to choose to consume cannabis and I will fight for that right as long as I am here and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you man.